and then just drag it up to that one. You got your box, which is going to be called cap. All right. Now create a copy of the cap. Click it once. Now you got a cap and another cap. Turn off the first cap. Modify select quadra. Click the vertices mode. Select it all. Modify and rotate. Turn on selection mode. And rotate. I'm going to turn off base to pivot. So that it just rotates by itself. And I'm going to rotate 180 degrees. Now I'm going to turn back on base to pivot. Click the little blue box in the corner. Make sure you do that properly. Now we're going to move it. Y. Because you can see that the caps, there's two caps. Watch in here so you can see what I'm doing. Alright. I'm not moving Y, I'm only moving Z. I want to make sure that the green line lines up with the gray line. So everything's straight. Because I didn't make it 100% perfect. I'm going to move it to the front of this right here. I'm going to turn on extra 5 in the chassis. I'm going to turn off extra 4. Very good. That looks good. I like it. Now on most mods that you see, Make sure I have the right one turned off. Yeah, as I was saying, in most mods that you see, uh, you'll always see this is perfectly attached to this, and this is meshed to the body. But really, in reality, you really don't need to do that for model mods like this, for car mods. There's no point. It's just a waste of time. Alright, so now the caps are done. I'm going to turn off the chassis, extra five, and I'm just going to attach and turn off the DFF. I'm just going to attach the two caps to each other. Attach, turn off select mode, make sure it's on this, click the right view window once, click him, drag him to cap. Caps are done. I'm going to create another text now, and I'm going to call this one Metal. M E T A L. Make it white, go OK. And for metal, I have a texture that I keep inside. Actually, wait. We'll just make one quickly. Here. Here. And since it's going to be really simple, image attributes 52, 50 by 50. All right. Make it special. We'll make it gold plated. Looks sexy. File, save as the desktop as metal. Let's add metal. Okay. Okay. We're going to go extension, click this. 75 instead of 73. I'm going to go with 75. Just because it really doesn't matter. The two are too close. Anyways, you'll get a little bit more shine by having 75. You'll get a little bit uh, less color out of it, though. That's okay. Now we're going to click here. This is going to make it look all sparkly. Now, you go to vehicle map uh, 128. Yours will be purple, blue, and yellow. And you'll see the sun right here. Whatever. I have edited mine to make it a little bit more steel like. You click here in edit, go to UV, mapper 2, go low level additive. Click OK. And all right. 
Now since this is just metal, it's simple and yeah, it's too complicated to map. Just map it like that. If you really don't like the way it looks though, like this, I, I really hate it. Just click it once, select it, select quadra, drag across the whole thing, selected mode, mapping, edit UVA, generate new, okay. Top to UV mapper, material, metal, click the thing, select it all, modify, scale, Y and Z, move it to wherever. Make it to top to your window when you're done. It doesn't matter if it's perfect or if it's not, unless you want it to be perfect. I don't because I don't have a really complicated texture. I only have it one color. This is repeating for some reason, but it shouldn't look that bad in uh, when being driven. You won't even notice it. Now that this is done, it's time to go on and create the tube. The tube is going to be the neon light itself. Let's click this, let's click this, and now in between the two caps, we're going to drag from the center out to about there. And now we're going to make the outside or the inside. Doesn't matter. Hmm. I'm going to make the inside really small. And we're going to make it really long. Okay. Now you say, oh, that doesn't look very circular. That's fine. If you want it to be a little bit more circular, you can do that too. Make the first part of the, make the first one to the size you want. Make it slightly smaller than I did last time. Make the inside. And this time, before you go on crazy and such, make it long like you did before go cross points and change that to don't delete it select it and double it if you want to because we're not going to be doing much editing now you say oh that's way circular looks so much better now I'm going to select it with quadra, with quadra on select it all Modify, move, select the mode on, move with Y, and Z at the beginning. If you don't like the size and you think, oh, it's a little bit too big, you can click the scale button. Make sure everything's selected, and you can scale it down just to the size you want. Move it. Y. Make sure your lines match up with the line here as well as the line perfectly straight up. So that will be the center of the bike. Okay. The first one is done on the left side. Now to drag over here. Drag that into the cap. Just touch it. Put that in the center. All right. Now, for me, I have. I had an idea while I was doing this. Since I don't need these, I'm gonna delete them. Selected mode, deletes. Okay, it's good all the way around. Turn off caps so I can show you what I did. I deleted the back and the front of those. And that's the neon light. And then there's the caps. Okay. Turn off the caps once more. Now I'm going to copy it. So I'm going to have.